Hi, today we're going to take a look at a perimeter of congruent shapes. So key word there is congruent. Whenever you see the word congruent, especially in a way of saying that the shapes are the same, or you have some identical shapes. Okay, just be the mass way of saying that. So now you see it, don't let it fool you. Okay, on to example question. Here we've got two rectangles, and we are told they're congruent, so they're exactly the same. I'm going to work on the area and perimeter of this compound shape. So let's do the area first. So I can work out the area by doing base times height. So 11 times 5, that means the area of this rectangle is 55 centimetres squared. And because both shapes are congruent, because both shapes are identical, the area of the compound shape will just be 55 times 2, because there's two rectangles which gives you 110 centimetres squared. So this tends to be the slightly easier part. Now onto the perimeter. Because we have congruent shapes, we can in fact fill in a lot of these lengths. If this is five, then so is this. I know for each rectangle, the long lengths are 11 and the short lengths are five. So I've got everything except for this length here. I haven't quite worked out. However, from compound rectangles, that's pretty straightforward. We can do it by looking at basically how tall this shape is. So it's 11 centimeters high. I have five centimeters going up here. And for it to make a total length of 11 centimeters, I need another six centimeters here because five plus six gives me the 11 that I need. Now you can work out the perimeter. All you need to do is just add up all those lengths that are on the screen. So I've got 11 plus 5 plus 6 plus 11 plus 5 plus 11 and plus another 5. So make sure you don't miss any and then you can work it out. Okay. Uh, I think off the top of my head that's going to give you 54. So if I'm wrong I do apologise. Okay and that idea basically works if you get even more and more congruent rectangles. So here I've got three of them. If I look at the one I've given lengths for, I can work out this area is 30 centimeters squared. So therefore the area, I've got three lots of 30. So it's gonna be 90 centimeters squared. And again, for the perimeter, I can just fill in all the missing lengths or most of them least straight away because I know all these rectangles are the same. The longer lengths are 10 and the shorter lengths are three. Doing that, I've only got two missing lengths that I need to work out for the perimeter. And both of those are going to be the same, actually. If we look here, the height of this rectangle is 10. We have got three centimeters so far going up. Has to go for a total height of 10, which means this must be seven centimeters. And again, for the exact same reason, this is also seven. So now you can add up all the lengths from the outside and that will give you the perimeter. Okay. I'll just do one more example. Uh, using these trapeziums or trapezia. So you'll be given the dimensions for one of them and we have made the following shapes out of three congruent or three of the same trapezia. So for this we only need to work out the perimeter, not the area. So let's do that. I think in part A it's pretty straightforward. We know the long length on the bottom is going to be seven. So I've got some sevens here. The short length on the top is going to be five. So we've got some fives here. And the lengths around the outsides, because of the, these little lines, that means these are both fours. And again, now by adding those together, you can work out the perimeter. Okay, that was really straightforward. B is slightly harder, but it's the same idea. Long length is seven, uh, short length is five. I know that all my side lengths, sort of the slanty ones going up, are going to be fours. And I've got everything except I'm missing these two lengths. So let's have a look, let's zoom in a bit. We know that this whole way across is going to be seven, because that's the bottom of my trapezia. And we're told that the top is going to be five, which means this little just in out bit must be the difference between seven and five. So this is going to be two centimeters. And again, it's going to be the exact same there. So now you've worked out all the lengths around the outside of the shape, all you need to do is just add them all together and that will give you the total perimeter. Okay, and that's really all you're doing. Okay, this is a really common exam style question. Hence, we've got one video purely talking about the single topic. 
So in the worksheet below, you have six questions to work through. They do get sort of steadily harder. So start with rectangles, onto triangles. Don't forget to look at the area of a triangle. And then onto various weirder and weirder and weirder shapes. Okay. Again, it does get slightly hard. Remember in question six, you want the area. So the first thing you should do is work out the area of this compound rectangle, which for a quick hint, you can do by chopping it here, working out this area, and then finding the missing length here to work out this area here. Okay, that's all I'll say. Give those questions a go. The worksheet is in the description. And good luck and thanks for listening.